From the time I was a, a child, mm -hmm. I loved uh, the ministry and the particular church uh, in which um, I attended. Um, I admired, you know, the way the priests were, you know, you know, uh, different ones were dressed and things like that. And I would go home, you know, and preach up a storm and use the bed as my, as the, the platform, you know. And um, so it, the desire was always there, but I thought it was just a childish thing and, and, and that I would have, Without, um, you know, it, it would die, but it never died. But a friend of mine, he was a salvationist, and he knew um, that I felt called to the ministry. So, when he went to Bible school, he came back and he said, um, uh, Dumas, you know, what about your desire to go to Bible school? You're not going, and I said, I ain't going. And he said, um, you're going to be like Jonah, running away from the work God has called you to do. And I tell you, the thing wouldn't leave me at all. And I went home and said, you mean I'm going to be like Jonah? So I, I gave up and decided to enter training for four years. The thing about it, though, while I was um, in school, um, I had that desire to become a marriage counselor. I didn't fully understand. As I, but why? Why? Because I saw so many relationships, you know, so many marriages breaking up. So after I did my four years and graduated, I um, went to seminary and um, major in, in, in counseling. When I left seminary, I got a call from the editor's um, secretary and she asked me for an article for the Sunday Sun. I think the paper was called Daily News, but on that Sunday edition, they called it, called it Sunday Sun. She asked me for an article. I said, yeah, I'd be glad to give you one. I said, but I'll tell you what I can do. I can, I could do a, a column for you all. And she talked to her boss, who was Mr. Wint. And um, he, was, uh, he, he was very happy about that, invited me in. I submitted what, uh, what I, would, I had in mind, and the rest is history. Now, when that paper was closed, Hector Winter, to see I go way back. Hector Winter invited me to come and, and to write uh, for the start. And so I, I, I gladly came. You know, when I started to write, people cursed me. And really, you know, I've had it, you know. <laughs> they cursed me, they called me that. They said, they said I couldn't be a, a, a pastor writing about these things. Huh? And the, but who stood with me? My family and my church. Preaching is my first love in the sense that I am a preacher. But um, nothing apart from preaching can beat counseling. And a lot of people who want to be counselors and say, uh, psychologists and so on, they don't have a clue what they're talking about. Um, and, and I have had the, the struggle uh, because a lot of people feel that as a counselor and a pastor in particular, that I should always quote the Bible. But that's not the type of um, counselor I am. When you consider the thousands and thousands of people who have been helped, people I, I didn't even know. Then I would say to folks, don't you read about similar, similar articles and so on in the newspaper? Yes. Don't you hear on the radio how many girls have been abused and so on? Yes. And I said, well, why do you doubt this? Well, I tell you this. 
I just have fun and laugh. People have called me, especially on the Dear Pastor show, and have said to me that they have learned to read by reading my column. I mean, young men will write me, young men will call me, young men will come to me, young girls will do the same and they would say, this is between the both of us and I said, yeah. You understand? They want somebody who would listen. They want someone in whom they can confide. So they come to me. I'll do it until I can't do it anymore. You, know, you understand? And I don't know when that would be because the good Lord has really given me good, fairly good health. Um, but I try to teach folks. You know what I mean? Um, how to go about this thing. I was talking to a professor and um, he's teaching people how to counsel and so on. And he said, he told them, you want to know how to counsel? You dear pastor. And so as to when I will quit, I don't know. If the, if the, if the green out allow me to write, I will write. I've never gotten fed up or tired of, of, of doing this thing because it's a part of my Christian vocation. You know what I mean? That's how I look at it. It's just a part of it. 